What's up, everybody, and welcome to another JavaScript Nuggets video where we cover nifty JavaScript topics that will come in handy when working on various JavaScript apps. And today we're going to tackle spread operator, or you probably have seen it with the syntax of dot dot dot. And the official explanation would be allows an iterable to spread or expand individually inside the receiver. And I'm fully aware that this sounds like a doozy. So you can also think of the explanation as a split into single items and copy them. Now, this last part copy is extremely, extremely important because it will save you a lot of times when you need to make sure that you're not referencing the item, you're just copying the values. And even though in most cases we will use it with an array, let me show you how that would work with a string. So I have a string and it has a value of Udemy. And what if I would just want to get the letters? So all the letters that I currently have in the Udemy string. Well, simply what I could do is set up a new variable and I'm going to say const and then letters. And that is going to be equal to an array. So that's why I'm going to set up a square brackets. And then I would need to use dot, dot, dot. And then whatever is my variable name, which of course is Udemy. So once we console log the letters, you'll see nicely how we have split up all the letters into array as individual items. Then of course, I can do whatever my heart desires with those possible values. Now let's take a look at the array example where I have boys array and I have girls array. And I also have this best friend variable. And here's my goal. I would want to create a new array. And then in that new array, I would want to have values for the boys, for the girls, as well as best friend. However, I would want to set up this array in the following way, where I can move the R node, so the best friend, around however I would want to. So if we go with const and then friends array, and we're not going to use the spread upper, if I'm just going to say, all right, so there's going to be a new array. And in that array, we're going to have boys array, and then girls array, and also the best friend. Everything kind of looks nice. But if we console log, you'll notice that we have nested array right now. And that's not what I'm looking for. Essentially, I would want to set up one flat array where all my items are just items in my array. How I can do that? Well, we can use the spread operator where I have my boys array and I just add dot dot dot. So now you notice I don't have any more this nested structure. And of course, the same thing I can do with the girls. So where I say dot dot dot, and then I have all the values that were in the girls array. So of course, now, if I take my best friend and move it to the middle, you'll notice that, of course, now we have boys, then we have the Arnold, and then we have the girls. And you can probably already guess that I can move this value around however I would like to. Now, let me emphasize something where we are copying these values. And this is extremely, extremely important. And here's why. If I would create a new array by the name of new friends. So let's go with const and then new friends. And if I'll use the reference, so if I'll set it equal to the friends array, the problem is going to be following where if I change something around in the friends, for example, I said that the first item is going to be equal to an Nancy, you'll notice that now both of them are affected, not only the new friends. So if we go with console log and then if we console log the friends as well as the new friends, you'll see that both of them have the first value as Nancy. And of course, that's not the behavior that I'm looking for because I would want to apply this change only to the new friends, so not to the old friends. But since I'm setting up the reference, of course, that is not the case. So what would be a way how to fix that? Well, we would need to use the spread operator where we are copying the values. So let me comment this out. Let me bring this sucker up. And we'll say that new friends, so const new friends, 
is equal to square brackets and then dot 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 and then friends. So now check it out. Of course, friends are still the same. So when we're doing something with new friends, we're not affecting anymore the old friends array. And similarly to the arrays, of course, we can also do the same thing with objects. And that option came with ES8 or ES2018. And of course, we have some kind of object. In this case, that is a person, there's a name, there's a job. And if I would want to create a new one, again, I don't want to reference it. I don't want to say new person is equal to the person because we already saw what happened when we applied some kind of changes. So let's try out our spread operator. We're going to go with const and then new person. And by the way, you'll see this a lot in React. And if we set up a curly braces in this case, so that is going to be different where with arrays, we went with square brackets, but with objects, you go with curly braces. You say dot, dot, dot. Again, you're using the spread operator and then whatever object you're looking for. And of course, in our case, that is the person. So again, let's cancel lock both the person as well as the new person. So new person. And you'll see that for the time, both of them are exactly the same. But again, the gotcha is that we're just copying the values. We're not referencing anymore. So every time we'll change something about new person, the old person, the regular good old person is not going to be affected. Now, the question probably is, well, how can we add the properties and the values on the new object? Well, we have person object. We copy the properties. And once we add a comma, here's the thing. We either can add a new property or we can overwrite the old one. So let's start by adding a new one. For example, I would want to add a city property. So I simply add a comma after the properties that I've copied, then call that, and then whatever the value. So if I go with Chicago, notice nicely here, I have city of Chicago onto the new person. Now, if I would like to overwrite the value that is already there, for example, name, same thing. I just go with comma, then the property name. So in this case, of course, it matches already to my old one. And I'll just set it up equal to a Peter. And then if I'm looking at my console log, of course, I can see that I changed the value as well. So both flavors, 40 arrays, as well as 40 objects. The syntax is dot, dot, dot. And what's really cool that we're copying the values, not referencing them. And that way, once we start setting up the new value, it is not affecting the original one, the one that we spread it out. So the one essentially where we grab the values and copy them into our new variable.